Hey guys, Moana Pabera here and today we're going to talk about why most businesses fail. Let's get to it. So, hey guys, my name is Moana Pabera and today I want to talk about some of the questions I'm getting from you guys. Um, if you're new to this channel, check it out, check the links below. I'm here to share and document my journey based on my experience over the last few years. We're looking to buy and invest in businesses and I'm here to help you with your questions. So, why most businesses fail? That's what I want to get you myself yeah, to get into this video. Um, People think that there are specific reasons. I want to explore them. I want to show you what's out there. And many people will tell you different things. People will tell you, hey, you're not growing your business or you're failing business just because you're not good at something specific. Maybe you're not good at marketing. You don't know the latest Facebook ads trick. Or you didn't find a winning product yet because there's so many products to sell on AliExpress and you didn't find it. Or maybe you need to um, be better at closing sales. But then it's like, do you even have leads to close those sales? People think that it's about specific strategy that they're missing and everyone out there will make it seems like the only thing that you're missing in order to be successful is just the next strategy. That's what it seems like. They're like, okay, you didn't read the next book or you didn't buy that course. And they show you that you're missing that next thing that's only working in 2018 and it never worked before and now that's the only thing that works and that's the only way to make business work. And I'm here to show you guys and tell you, at least based on my experience, is that it's not about specific strategy. It's not about the next thing that works only now. And if you don't have that course or that course or that seminar, you can't be a successful, successful business person. I'm here to tell you that based on my experience and what I saw out there, it all comes down to your mindset. And I don't care what you're going to tell me. And maybe you tell me, hey, Moran, but I, I read all the Tony Rob Robin, Robbins book and I went to the seminars. And I know everything about mindset, and I'm good with that. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm good with mindset. And I'm here to tell you that unless you have a successful eight figures already, probably you have a problem with mindset. And probably even if you have a, uh, an eight-figure business, there is a mindset issue that's stopping you from going to the next level. It's always come back to your mindset. And it always, like, like I see business as a reflection to your life. So if you have... If you have a messy life out there, you probably have a messy business. And if you have problems in your day-to-day -day life, to if you see something on repeat or you have like different issues in your day-to-day -day life, it will always reflect in your business life. And again, it all, all comes down to what's your in, in your insight. And it's funny, you know, business is like, I hear people say, hey, I want to get into business because I want more freedom. It's, it's not working like that. The, it's like saying I want to get into business because I want more freedom. It's like saying I want to, um, to, to have kids so I can have more free time. It's just not working that way. And people literally lie to themselves. And what I see people doing is they, they literally try to throw pasta on the wall. They're like, and, and hoping something will stick. And they always switch between things. That, that's one of the biggest mindset issues, right? People always switch between different business models. They start a business, they get it maybe to six figures, and then they're like, they hear about that course or that guru try to sell them that next strategy. And they think, okay, maybe that new business is better now because it's 2018, and that's what works now. That's how people make millions now. That's, that's, that's not the case, guys. That's, that's not how things work. Business comes down to very basic fundamentals. And I don't care what business you're going to start in. I think your best way to make that business work it's just to stick into that business. That's it. I don't care if you start a, a cleaning, uh, cleaning literally walls or, or windows. Just, just start that business and you can make millions of dollars doing that. And I can tell you that from first-hand experience. I'm talking to business owners every week, every day. And I'm talking to multi-million dollar businesses. Amazing, successful businesses. And I can tell you, I saw successful business businesses in any sector you can think of and you know what's the difference between business that is successful and existing for 10 20 years and is making money on an ongoing basis every year and is maybe slowly growing every year but still he's there and he's making things happen the only reason and different is that they stick to that business those owners maybe they didn't have just other choices and that's the only thing they need they knew how to do and probably nowadays it's so easy to always think the grass is always greener because you have sold those different ads and online platforms and advertising and on the next course or the next business models or the next um, skill to, to become better at marketing or whatever and to grow internally. 
it's not the case, guys. The only difference between those who are successful and those who are not is those who are successful just stick to one thing and stick for it for a long period of time. So you have two options now. If you don't have a business, I'm here to tell you that just stick to something, one thing. Just pick one type of business and just stick to it. Now, there's two ways to do that if you don't have a business. Yes, one of them is to start a business from scratch. And again, I don't want to be pessimist, but most of startups will fail. The other way is to go and try to buy existing profitable business. You don't have much, you don't need to have much money in order to do that because you can use the acquisition target assets as a leverage to pay for that acquisition cost. So that's one thing. If you already have a, a successful business, and basically if you already have a business that do at least half a million a year in sales, I think below that it's just kind of like still a hobby. After half a million or a million a year, you can say that you have a business. At that stage, you have other issues. One of them is you can go and grow your business organically like you did so far, which is to bring in more sales, more do more marketing, to find more joint vet, venture opportunities or more referral systems, which is a great way to grow organically, but it's the slow way. The other way, which is the faster way, is to go and grow by acquisitions, which is to go buy your competitors, buy complementary businesses, and again, same rule apply here. You can use the business assets as a leverage to pay for that business. Like I said, you can use things like seller financing, like earnouts, like other cool negotiation strategies. So you won't need to use much, if any, of your own capital to buy those businesses. And that's how you can grow literally by 100, 200, 300% in an afternoon, literally, because you're buying that business. That's what we're doing right now with one of our clients, Paul. He's buying a business three times bigger than his, three or four times bigger than his existing one, and he's not going to run the day-to-day -day of that business either. We're going to have a management team in place. So that's what we do all day long. If you want to explore that, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and see the details there. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm here to share you guys and share with you that it's not about new strategies. It's about using all strategies that are proven to work. And obviously, you want to make sure that the strategy is not outdated and it's working in 2018 as well. But it's not about finding one thing that's going to change the world. It's about sticking to fundamentals, repeating them again and again, and having the accountability and support to make sure that you're moving forward. So that, that's what about that's what success is about and becoming successful in business or anything in life, in my opinion. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. See the links in the description below. Join our group on Facebook if you didn't yet. Send me links to um, to send me your questions. See the, just, just see the links below and you, and you see all the details. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos. And yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.